Hey guys, and welcome to yet another part of the Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets Let's Play for the PC. Once again, it's been a really long time since I've recorded. <laughs> I have to uh, get out of this rut that I've been in with recording, get right down to business. Hopefully today, I was hoping to get a few episodes done today. So yeah, we're off with Hermione to Charms class to Sorry, ask... Harry. We don't want to be late for Charms. Exactly, Coming, thank you. Hermione. Stop being so annoying, Hermione. Um, but yeah, I was hoping to get a few episodes done today. See those guys down there? They're all... There, many of them are traitors. Oh, there's a save book. Another place I can save. Is Hermione... No, this is the silver cards challenge. So we come up here to Hermione. And... I think last time we ended things in this hallway, in the second floor, yeah. I remember looking at the letters, and they had little to no quality. I think I upped my game settings a bit, and now you can see them a bit better. Yeah. The Chamber of Secrets has been opened. Enemies of the air, beware. Ooh, ominous. But yeah, you can contrast it with the previous part. I did a few tweaks and changes. Okay, shut up, opened. Harry. Should be working better now. What do you think, Filch? Ugh. Okay, you don't have to yell at me. Okay, let's go in. Welcome to Charms class. Today we shall be learning the Scourge charm. Ah, oh, Scourge. I was hoping for a uh, Spongify. I was just wondering if you could uh, tell us something about the Chamber of Secrets. I deal with charms, Miss Granger, not myths and legends. Please, Professor, we all want to hear. Oh, very well. There were four founders of Why the change the, the scene? Like, like just put McGonagall in it. Did they not have the access to the McGonagall actress? Slytherin wanted to admit only the wizard it's weird. students to Hogwarts. The other founders refused, and as a result, Slytherin left the school. Yes, Miss Granger? He built a secret chamber in the castle of which the other fans knew nothing. What? I didn't remember this. To guard the chamber. So Hermione knew. The legend states. Why why have her ask? <laughs> That's so silly. If she knows the story. And then all who are not I presume that you guys who are watching know. That's why I feel free to talk over them during this scene. Usually I don't like to talk over cutscenes. But this is a pretty well-known Harry Potter part of the myth, I guess. Whatever. It's a myth within a fictional story, so... Make of that what you will. Oh, it's another... Try not to focus on all this um, chamber of secrets challenge of arrows of and of synchronization. Is about to move its way around the symbol. Let's do this. I'm ready. I'm not going to get anything wrong this time. You'll need to hit the corresponding arrow key. This exercise has three levels. In each level, you must succeed. Yes, yes. Thank you. Gilderoy Lockhart already taught me this. He taught me better than you. Go. Can you imagine if Lockhart was actually a competent professor? <laughs> Almost defies believability. You can't even imagine it. Sometimes, you know, um, sometimes people like to conjure up these what-if scenarios, but my favorite kind of what-if scenarios are the type that completely, completely ignore what the characters are at their core. Like, imagining what Harry would do in a situation if he was a completely different person with a completely different attitude. Like, what would have happened... This is one of my favorite ones to think about. What would have happened if Harry had not kept the hostages... Had, had kept the Slytherin students as hostages in the Battle of Hogwarts? Like Aberforth Dumbledore suggested. Like, how would the battle have turned out if they had a bunch of kids hostage in the castle that were sons of Death Eaters. Of course, only a very ruthless Harry would do this. Harry would never do this. But I like to imagine. You've completed all of the necessary exercises. And see, I got nothing wrong. Well done, Mr. Potter. And also, it isn't really that difficult. Now it's time for you to test your newly learned knowledge in the Scourge Spell Challenge. 
All right, so Scourge Challenge. I remember this one being one that you can, like, you can really speedrun this one. Or can you speed... No, I'm thinking about the the Spongify one again. Along the way, you'll find challenge stars. Collecting yeah, challenge yeah, stars yeah. Um, I would like to go for all ten stars again. I don't even know if I'll be able to. Nor even the wizard cards. The wizard cards are another matter entirely. Um, but we'll see. I don't really care about the score, to be honest. I mean, <laughs> to be fair, for just three beans, I should not have uh, wasted this time. Behind by certain ghostly beings, in some places it will block doorways and openings. You can yes. Scourge to get rid of to it. get rid of it. So we're gonna get rid of the ectoplasm. That's what Scourge does. It used to make these green obstacles disappear. Pretty self-explanatory and straightforward. Not much. Oh, I forgot. I need to be pointing this at everything. Um, need to remember how to play this game again. What the hell? Why is this here? This is a very curious room. Might be feed into it later. You can also cast Scourge to free items that have been trapped by ectoplasm. Ah, I forgot about that. All right. This, and this. So yeah, one of the reasons why I, one of the reasons, probably the biggest reason why I haven't been able to record so much lately is that I actually moved recently. And with it, my uh, my recording schedule became pretty uh, pretty affected, as you might imagine. Moving sucks. If you've ever been through it, it's really a time-intensive endeavor. It involves a lot of. Um, Thinking, uh, thinking, <laughs> not thinking, uh, there's a lot of time-consuming, uh, th th conversations about where things are going, uh, taking stuff back and forth, especially if you're moving between long locations. Like, it's just a hassle. I don't, I'm not even sure if I need to remove all these ectoplasm things. Oh, sh Damn. Where did that one come from? It's a fire crab, or turtles as I call them affectionately. I can't get rid of him. So... Okay, there's a lot in this room. And this challenge, I don't remember nearly as well as Gilderoy Lockhart's. So... Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Oh, damn. <laughs> A lot of fire crabs. Making good use of Rick the Sempra. Can we flip him? Ah. The Rick the Sempra uh, spell is one that I only ever saw in this. Um, oh, I remember this. This is like a mini boss fight. But yeah, Rick the Sempra is a spell I only ever saw in this game, and maybe it's in the Prisoner of Azkaban PC game? Oh, that's a good question. But yeah, as you might expect, since Flitwick referred to ghosts leaving behind ectoplasm that you can get rid of with Scourge, Scourge is the spell we're gonna use to fight Peeves in this mini boss fight. It's just point and click, or point and unclick. Oh, I got hit. Peeves is actually being a bit hard to hit. Yeah, like now. I thought I had him, and now I got hit. What do you know? Okay. That, that was cool. I can't... Oh, I can... Maybe... Maybe something will happen if I do this. Hmm... I wonder... Oh. oh, I can actually go on top of them. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. I had no idea. Ooh, dodge. 
Okay, this will probably factor in in a bit. I'll probably go around. Maybe I'm wasting too much time thinking about stuff that really doesn't matter. Yeah, I was gonna have to do that again any anyway. But yeah, what else is going on? Oh wait, this is right. Hold on. Where was the room I was just in? What did the dragon open? Oh, okay. <laughs> Thought I was going crazy. <laughs> Parkour. But yeah, I was saying, um... Today is my sister's birthday. And last night we had the Eurovision Song Contest. For anyone living in uh, Europe and the other countries that participate in Eurovision. I know Australia is included. I forget the other ones that aren't from Europe. Um, yeah, I hope you had a good time. I sure didn't, because I thought the song that won wasn't really that good. Sorry, Sweden. Um, yeah, I really didn't think it was that good. <laughs> I thought it was pretty ordinary. Plus, the woman had won before. Like, that's the thing. Like, it's a bit boring. I thought we were supposed to be giving uh, shots to young, new artists. I mean, I guess if she deserves it, then, you know, she probably did, but on some level, no decision for first place in Eurovision, especially in Eurovision, is an absolute decision. Like, there are several songs that are usually worthy of being called the winner. But if you're purposely selecting someone who has won before, I think you're just missing out on, on an opportunity to celebrate new talent. Plus, it's not like Sweden has never won before. Oh, I... We got 10 wizard cards, the bronze ones, so we get a new lightning scar for extra health. Might have made the Peeves fight a bit easier, but then again, we didn't really struggle that much with him. Excuse me, Mr. Turtle. I'm getting really confused in this challenge chamber. It's a lot of back and forth. I'm really lost. Oh, we're back in the... It's the central room with that pillar I knocked over. That's interesting. Okay, so now we go over here again. And the wi this switch looks mighty suspicious. Ah, she makes the witch sound. In the PS1 version of the Chamber of Secrets game, that sound that the witch just made is actually Peeves' uh, sound effect. <laughs> it's a bit of a recycling there. Another... Ooh! I think that was Flavius Belby. Let's check it out. I don't think we've checked out the Folio Magi yet. Yeah, Flavia Spelby. Only wizard ever to survive a Lethifold attack. Yeah, I checked on the wiki. I haven't read Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, the book. Uh, but I have researched, like, what creatures are on it, on the web. And apparently Lethifolds are, like, Dementors, but in Africa? I could be wrong. But I think that's what the, the bio for the creature says. And um, they sound way worse than the Dementors you see in the books. Like, Lethifold sound incredibly dangerous and horrifying to be around, so that guy is really lucky. And here we are. Another... Oh, this one's a silver one. I wonder how many silver ones we have already. Oh, we have six. That's not a lot, considering we need 40. I don't think we earn one, like, reward for each ten um, silver cards gained. It's not like the bronze ones, where each ten you get, you get a lightning scar. With each ten in the silver ones, I don't think you get anything. Except one of the locks behind that silver door on the first floor. It's opened. But, you know, <laughs> that really does nothing for you, so... It's just a manner of keeping track of your progress. Alrighty. That's another star obtained. Oh! 
What does this do for me? That's weird. Alright, let's... I am so lost. Oh no, I didn't wanna... Okay, whatever. Let's proceed. I hope I didn't miss anything. Hmm, where's the lighty thing? It's presumably around here somewhere. Please open. Thank you. It's a lot of beans. Now that is a Cornish pixie. Troublesome and annoying creatures they are. If they touch you, they will bite, so try to avoid them. Victor Sempera will stun them. Alright. Forgot about Cornish Pixies. Where is the Lumos thing? I'm becoming a bit paranoid. It has to be around here somewhere. I'm hmm, sorry guys, I'm a bit sneezy today. Oh, there we go. Does the Lumos... Aha! I don't think I ever managed to find this puzzle. This is a cool one. And that's where it comes back in. Now he fell down. Oh. <laughs> well, make a fool out of me. Oh my god, it's the fire. Thank you. Excuse me. <laughs> I like jumping on them now. It's fun. Aha. Where are we? Where are we, guys? I went down a secret passageway. And maybe it was the main path? I think we'll get back to it eventually. Oh, damn. Okay, let's just run away. This will make it bounce around, yeah. Oh, no! Oh, my god, I almost missed that. What does that do? Aha! Well, what is... A lot of moving parts in this challenge. I I don't want to get through that door. Yeah, yeah, I don't want to go through that door. Hold on. All right. All right. And through we are. And another secret passageway with a silver wizard card. Hooray. But yeah, I'm really paranoid that I'm missing something. see. And there we go. Now we go through this. Oh, another Cornish Pixie. Yeah. Yeah, they just blow up. I thought they, like, were kept alive on the, on the floor. But, guess not. Alright, new room. New room, which means new paranoid checking of everything, every nook and cranny. Every nook and cranny. Doesn't seem like there's much here, but I guess uh, we have to go like this. And if we go over here, yeah, and if we go over here, same thing. So something's gonna have to go over there. And uh, surprisingly though it may seem, there is no Wingardium Leviosa in this game. Because of course there isn't. <laughs> They couldn't handle you moving things. The, the PS1 game did it with kind of okay success. Let's see. Aha! A gnome. And, um, yeah. So what other things have been going on? Oh yeah, um, I only recently... I should have known this, but I only recently heard about the new HBO Harry Potter show that they're making. Which I couldn't imagine, honestly, a worse idea. I'm so sorry, but I really don't want... Like, I know, we all want the things in the books that never made it to the movies, but they're supplemental material at best. And you risk sacrificing... You don't sacrifice, because the old movies are will always be there, but you risk just putting the audience off 
because they'll always be comparing to the original movies. I'm not even talking about the books at this point. I'm talking about the movies, which everyone universally likes or at least cherishes. And yeah, like, you know, how, how, how are you going to do Snape without Alan Rickman? Like, how does that even work? Who's going to play Harry, you know? People, you know, you can argue about her, Daniel Radcliffe's performance all you want, but people see him as Harry Potter, whether or not he was giving a good or a bad performance. To see another actor in the role so, so soon, you know, it's less than 10 years old. Well, no, actually, Deathly Hallows Part 2 came out in 2011. God damn it, I'm old. But, you know, you see my point. So we're nine stars in. Um, so we should be getting close to the end. Is that the Fat Friar? I'm gonna assume that it is. He's the Hufflepuff house ghost. Which you might know already, probably. Potentially. Um, Hufflepuff is actually my house. My house. <laughs> Oh, are we back in the beginning? I don't even know. Um, but yeah, Hufflepuff is my house that I got sorted in on Portamore way, way back in the day. And now in the recent Wizarding World um, website as well. What do we do with this? Why is this? Oh, of course. And there it is! The much waited for 10th star. And okay, I guess that is it. So, I guess we are back in the beginning. Yeah, we are. This door van. Oh my god! Jesus Christ, he scared the crap out of me. He doesn't even have a health bar. He's just. Well, good on you, Peeves. That was a legit jump scare. Well done. Well, well done to us as well. Yay! I totally forgot what I was talking about, because Peeves just scared the bejesus out of me. Oof. But, you know, ten stars attained. That's what we wanted, that's what we got. And I think we can retry these challenges again. Or at least I can, off-screen. Alright, so we should be able to get more rooms with more beans. Because we now have the Scourge spell. So we're gonna do that next time. I think we've got a pretty good, uh, sizable part here. Uh, might do a bit more recording today. We'll see. So I'll see you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed watching, and um, see you later. Bye-bye.